What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva and today we're making a Red Hook. Now the Red Hook is a really important cocktail. It was created by Vincenzo Errico for Milk and Honey in 2003. And the reason why it's so uh, important is because it is a cocktail that sort of launched a whole bunch of Manhattan variations after it. Uh, so Vincenzo Errico is a guy who met Sasha Petrosky in London and came back to work at Milk and Honey in New York on Petrosky's insistence. Um, I don't want to tell a whole long story about this, and I will put more in the show notes, but basically uh, he stumbled upon a drink called a Brooklyn, which I'm not going to talk about here because we're going to do it as a separate video anyway, and that inspired him to make this drink. Uh, what makes it so unique is the use of Punt y Mes. So Punt y Mes is a, uh, it's basically a vermouth. It is a wine-based, um, it is a wine-based vermouth, but it is got the finish, they put enough botanicals in it that they, it's got the finish of an Amaro. So it's like halfway between vermouth and, and with a bitter kind of finish. So what he's done is he's taken the dryness of the rye that has a little bit of sweetness, paired it with the sweetness and then uber dryness of the maraschino liqueur, and then you get the uh, body of the vermouth with that bitter finish, and it created an amazing cocktail. Uh, let's get into making this. So first thing we're gonna do is just half an ounce of maraschino liqueur and then half an ounce of punta de mes and two ounces of rye and that is it just like a Manhattan We're just going to stir it. Now I believe it was a friend of Erico's that came up with the idea of naming it a Red Hook because he wanted to make it a point in the map that was somewhere between Brooklyn and Manhattan. And I really like that. I think it's great. Like this is sort of somewhere between those cocktails. and it's, So they pick a, picked a neighborhood that's somewhere between uh, those locales, I guess. Nice and chill, and then we're just gonna strain it into our glass. Nice wash line there. Set that aside, and then just garnish it with a cherry. Today we're using Luxardo cherries. Yes, you can use Amaranth cherries if you want to. Somebody was like, they're way less expensive. I don't know. The Amarena cherries that I see, you know, alongside the uh, Luxardos are about 15 bucks for an eight ounce jar. So they're a few bucks less than the Luxardos. Anyway, there you have it, the Red Hook. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. I inadvertently just told you what the flavor profile is anyway. You get a little bit of sweetness from the rye, but the rye is dry. It pairs really well with that maraschino liqueur. So you get a lot of dryness from the maraschino liqueur, and then you get that bitter finish from the Punta Mes. It is a perfectly balanced Manhattan variation. I really hope that this gets a lot of views because honestly, you guys are really going to like this drink. If you give it half a chance, I'll just make it at home. So until next time, I think I'm just going to take this with me, and I'm going to have myself a party. See you guys.